Hey everyone and welcome to the Learning Lads. Today I'm sharing with you our 7th grade curriculum for science. So I've shared my language arts which I'll link below and I've also shared everything in one video as well. I'll also link that one but we're going to do science today. So the curriculum resources we are using this year are Biology for the Logic Stage by Elemental Science and also Guest Hollows Junior Human Anatomy and Health Curriculum. Okay so the table of contents for the Elemental Science Biology is Biological Building Blocks, uh, plants, invertebrates, vertebrates, animal overview, and the human body. So there are six units in total. It's a 36 week curriculum. You can do it over two to five days. There are schedules for everything in here. Um, it does have some necessary books, which I'll show you in a second. I have done a flip through of this curriculum, so I'll leave that below as well. And she gives you a sample schedule for a two day week, what you would do. So for example, day one, define the vocabulary, do the experiment, complete the experiment sheet and record the dates. Day two, redesign pages and discuss together, prepare an outline or narrative summary and complete the sketch. Um, and it gives you an example of what that could look like. And then a five day schedule. So day one, do the experiment and complete the experiment sheet. Day two, redesign pages, discuss together, write an outline or list of facts. Day three, record the dates, define the vocabulary and complete the sketch. Day four, read from the additional reading assignments and prepare a written report. And then day five, complete one of the want more activities. There is also a science fair project in here as well. So I'll show you a sample week in the teacher guide and then in the student book, just so you know what it's like. So this is, I just picked it randomly, week 18, uh, the two day week schedule or the five day week schedule. So for example, you've got define amphibian and tadpole, dissect the frog, enter the dates onto your date sheet, then... Um, do some reading, prepare an outline or narrative summary, and then colour and label the life cycle of the frog. It gives you your supplies, and then you can write here, obviously, anything you need to prepare. The five-week schedule just has some extra in it in terms of the reading assignment, um, and then one of the want more activities. So it'll give you the explanation for the experiment, any additional links that you need, a note um, about the dissection, some discussion questions. The want more activity is the life cycle of a frog, um, so in this case, it's, it's saying you could obviously get a, a kit. There is the diagram. Uh, same for week 19. So this is all about reptiles. So you've got all your experiment information here, your procedure, vocabulary, and any memory work, a sketch um, section, a writing section. So an assignment from the Kingfisher and Science Encyclopedia, some dates to remember. Then you've got your schedule over here. And then the appropriate um, student pages, so you've got obviously your experiment, vocabulary word, sketch, writing, assignment, dates to remember. This is the sketch that you have to complete and label. Um, this is for the discussion questions for your written assignment. And that's what the student pages look like. Okay, in terms of required text for this one, there's the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia which is a fantastic resource and you can use this right through high school. It's fantastic. Um, the Encyclopedia of Nature from DK. I did manage to get this one used, which is always helpful. Um, again, this is a great resource. Uh, DK Human Body. The Osborne Illustrated Dictionary of Science. And the last one is the Osborne Science Encyclopedia, which my daughter's took off reading somewhere, so I don't know where she's put it. Um, but I'll find that obviously ready for school. But uh, yes, that's the last one, the Osborne Science Encyclopedia. I added a few of my own just because I thought they would go well, uh, things that we've had on the shelf. Uh, the complete book of the microscope. That's the good thing about homeschooling for such a long time. You accumulate books that you can use um, you know, with multiple curriculums over the years, which is your own resource library, I guess, which is fantastic. Osborne Lift the Flap Biology. This looks like a fantastic one. Um, biology for Curious Kids. The DK Knowledge Encyclopedia Plants and Fungi. I love these DK Knowledge Encyclopedias. Weird and Wonderful Nature. My daughter loves this one. She's already read through it um, once, but we'll obviously we'll use it again during school time. But it looks an absolutely fantastic book series. I got Chris Packham's Nature Handbook. And 
Illuminature. We've had these uh, Illum Illuminature Luminatomy ones for a long time and they're absolutely fantastic. So you get all the information, then you get the pictures which you can look through with the different lenses to see the different layers. In this case, daytime animals, habitat and nighttime and twilight animals. I did also get the Anatomy Lab. Um, we have a microscope with lots of slides that she loves looking through and making her own slides as well. Okay, now we really do enjoy science. I think elemental science could be just enough by itself, but I did decide to add Junior Human Anatomy and Health from Guest Hollow. I love this because it's literature based and we love books. We love reading, learning through books. Um, so that's part of the reason why. I also love this because it's a buffet curriculum. So you don't have to do every single thing. Um, you can pick and choose activities. So for example, she references videos you can watch. Uh, there are projects and activities that she recommends to do. Um, additional books, uh, websites that you can watch, printables, projects, but you don't have to do everything. You can pick and choose. So that's what I'll do on a week by week basis. I'll look at our schedule for elemental science, see what we've got on for that week, and then tailor make what we'll you know fit in with our um, human anatomy and health curriculum. I'm really excited about this particularly. I love elemental science as well, but I'm excited about this one because I love the buffet style and we have had such great success with these programs in the past. Now, the only thing is, I will say, is the reading list is huge. If you've got a library that's good, you can utilize that to its full capacity and extent. We do not have a good library. In fact, our library where we used to live, it was better than the one that it that we have currently which is just insane because that was not good at all <laughs> but um used book stores that's the best thing i can recommend there are tons of used book stores online i got a ton of my books used um for this particular curriculum i did have to buy some though but um overall i'm still happy it's just something you need to consider with these types of curriculum they are literature based so that it does require quite a few books so I'll show you what I decided to get off her reading list. She does categorise one, two, three. So one being essential, two, great to have, and three, would like, but you know, not essential. So this, this is my stack that I got off her list. However, I do have some additional books that I've added to it, which I'll show you in a, mi in a minute. What I do with these is we'll read them as part of the assignments, but I will also um, rotate them into our morning baskets each week, and I will assign some for independent reading too. Um, so the first one that I got off her list was The Circulatory Story. How to really fool yourself, illusions for all your senses. Pooh, a history of the world from the bottom up. She's very excited to read this one. Food and nutrition for every kid. So I think this is a lot of where the experiments come, on, come from for your health portion of the curriculum. Fight against microbes. Some secrets should never be kept. Blood and Guts, a working guide to your own insides. The quest to digest. It takes guts, how your body turns food into fuel and poop. <laughs> Again, this is another one that she's really excited to read. A Chew, the most interesting book you'll ever read about germs. Outbreak, plagues that changed history. Basher Science Microbiology, It's a Small World. Gene Machines. You can't use your brain if you are a jellyfish. Genetics, breaking the code of your DNA. The Ultimate Girls Body Book. An American Plague, the Yellow Fever Epidemic, some of them are such interesting titles. We have Enjoy Yourselves, How to Be a Genius, Have a Nice DNA, Germ Zappers, The Human Anatomy Colouring Book, The Body Book, the exciting endocrine system.
belly bursting, um, belly busting even, worm invasions. Delightful. <laughs> Muscles. The skeleton book. Wow in the world, the how and wow of the human body. The Good Germ Hotel. And Bones. So those are all the ones I picked off her list, as far as I can remember. She did also request this game, Genetics and... Well, it's not a game, but it's an activity kit. The Genetics and DNA Lab. Okay, so some of the books that I picked to go along with. So we've got Illuminatomy. Again, this is a fantastic resource. You've got Skeleton. Uh, muscles, organs, and blood vessels. We've had this for years and she still loves it to this day. That's life, looking for all the living things around you. The DK Knowledge Encyclopedia for the Human Body. Again, this is a fantastic resource. We've had this one for a few years, we love this series. Stuff you should know about the human body. Explore the human body. I really like these ones where you see the different layers. <laughs> Brilliant bodies inside and out. The Welcome to the Museum Anatomy. And that one also has an activity book. Osborne see inside your body. We've had this one for years. I think I first got this one when she was four and we did our human bo uh, body study. Um, I'll never forget, she was matching up the tube figures to each of the organs and to just think now we're in seventh grade, mind blown where the time went, it's just crazy. Bittersweet for sure. See inside your head. 100 things to know about the human body, we love this series. And how your body works, Osborne lift the flap. Um, as I said, some of them will be assigned for independent reading, some of them will do in a morning basket, some of them will rotate for a morning basket, and then some of them will be as, as part of the, the curriculum that's required. So some of the things for independent read loud, I've got medical milestones and crazy cures from Operation Ouch, she loves that series. Um, also Operation Ouch, your brilliant body. Uh, see inside genes and DNA. Adam Kay's Kay's Anatomy, a complete and completely disgusting guide to the human body. The Museum of Odd Body Leftovers, a tour of your useless parts, flaws and other weird bits. How to spaghettify your dog and other science secrets of the universe. This is not just biology, but I thought it'd be a fun read that she'd enjoy. And then we've also got Operation Ouch, the Humanual. And she'll probably read these types of things as well, independently, um, 100 Things to Know About the Human Body, those types of reference books. We get, that's everything in terms of our curriculum for science and our additional books. She does have a school nest science notebook, um, which she will notebook anything in here that she needs to do. I'll also have her do a couple of uh, book reports on some of her independent reads. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing for science this year. I'm really excited to see how it goes. I'm, I haven't done my planning yet for uh, seventh grade yet in terms of our schedule and everything. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking um, either two or three days of the biology and then obviously the corresponding will dictate how many for this one. So for example, if we do two days for this, we'll do three days for this. If we do three days for this, we'll do two days for this. But again, I haven't decided. I'm going to go through everything. When I do my planning, I've got to map out my year in terms of all our other curriculum and then I'll obviously, you know, get my schedule and then I'll update in future videos as to how many days a week we're going to do each curriculum, whether we're going to do them both on the same day, whether they're going to have their own day, that'll all come in future videos. Um, I'm still enjoying my summer right now. <laughs> um, we've only been off for a couple of weeks, so I'm still in summer holiday mode, but I will be starting up to do all my prepping soon. Um, I just need to sort out my schooling first <laughs> and then that'll come next. But yes, um, I'm really excited to get mapping everything out in terms of when we're going to do everything. But I'm super excited about our science this year. I think it's going to be a really great science year. We had a great science year this year, but I think this one's going to be even better. But yes, that's everything today. So thanks so much for watching. I'll leave the links to any videos that I think would be useful below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.